Bolovinaka everyone, I welcome you back to my channel. I thank you once again for you using these uh, videos to help you with your revision for your exams. I also thank you if you've been a loyal uh, watcher of all the videos that I've already uploaded, whether you're in year 12 or year 13. Um, what I'll be discussing today is something that is relevant for both. You have learned this from year 11 or even when in primary school you doing you are doing this unknowingly which is summarizing now this skill can really help you not only in english but when you start reading your notes for revision sometimes your teachers might be giving you bulky notes or a lot of notes and you need to summarize it so if it's a whole paragraph uh, sorry if it's a whole article and you need to um uh you need to um summarize it this is a skill that can really help you so um please listen carefully if you have any questions you are always welcome to ask in the comments below or you can directly um uh, message me on all my social media platforms especially on facebook you can uh, message me on facebook same name so uh uh without further ado we will uh, begin our discussion okay summary writing don't get scared i know many kids read the comprehension or they read the passage and they will they always dread doing summary now i want you to get that out of your mind you know i believe you have already won the battle when you think about things that you cannot do or you can do so if you think you can that's it you won't or you can't but if you can you think you can Trust me, you can. So summary writing from now onwards, you are going to be able to tackle summary writing. Okay, so this is a sample activity. This this uh, passage is taken from the year 13, um, English communications. Now, if you are in year 13, by now you should know that summary writing passage is different to the comprehension passage. Once again, year 13 this is for year 13 students only the summary writing passage is different to the comprehension passage so you'll be reading two different texts or two different passages now this is why you need to have tricks in order to be able to uh, get your work done quickly so what i've always taught my kids is work smart don't work hard eh? so this is um one way in order for you to uh, help you i'm sure your teacher is a great way to do summary writing this is also another way i'm not trying to take away he or hers uh, her method of teaching hers or his is the best this is a complimentary maybe this can help you in your summary writing eh? so this is the passage schools must champion schools must champion anti-corruption education so that is our title of our story, of our summary, of our passage that you will summarize, sorry. Okay, now, first thing that you will do in your answer booklet, which is always there, is your plan. Eh? So once that you have come to this section of your paper, don't always leave it to the last. Sometimes this can be done in the middle. You might have some kind of writer's block in your literature. That happens. Sometimes you've studied all night or you've studied all week. And then when you get to the literature section, your mind just goes blank. Do not panic. All right, guys? Don't panic. Try and do something else. Go and do, do your grammar and the language activities. Uh, sorry, your grammar and language section. Or do your summary writing. Maybe that'll get your, your brain juices flowing. Eh? So you're going to go to your summary writing. And first thing, you are going to skim. I'm not talking about skim milk. I'm talking about skim in the sense S-K-I-M. You are going to just lightly, not really, really reading deeply, but just going through. Okay, so corruption. I see a lot of corruption. Corruption touches our lives every day. Okay, corruption takes many forms. Mm -hmm. Research by the World Bank shows that about U.S. $1 trillion is paid in bribes worldwide. Wow. Then you go. Corruption is also making it difficult. That's what you call skimming. Skimming is just briefly looking at the passage okay let me just minimize that so there we go so you're just briefly looking at the passage briefly looking all right first you skim next thing to do is list down 
the first sentence of each paragraph now in expository essay and your summary writing passages they will be a formal writing piece so every sentence sorry every paragraph will be in the uh, in the taxi method and we know that every first sentence of each paragraph is your topic sentence so that is the main point of your paragraph and we know the rest is your explanation of the topic sentence the example and your conclusion so in order to save time you will write down in your plan the first sentence of each paragraph there we go so this is your plan corruption touches our lives every day now let's go back to our passage so that is the first sentence corruption touches our lives every day full stop now looking at the rest of the paragraph it happens across the private private sector as well as the public service in the realms of housing education health and agriculture its influence reach, reaches dangerously further to it directly threatens sustainable development so not only are you going to point out the first sentence but you also take in the theme of the paragraph which is anyone can be a victim to corruption so going back to our plan step one you are going to list down the first sentence of each paragraph so this is the first sentence of each paragraph corruption touches our lives every day corruption takes many forms research by the world bank etc this is your first sentence of each paragraph next thing you're going to do you are going to write the same sentences in your final summary in a paragraph using your own words please using your own words why are you going to use your own words because what you read wasn't yours that is plagiarizing if you directly lift directly lifting is when you just take everything that you've read here and you vomit it back on the page do not do that please that's stealing we don't condone that type of uh, work so please use synonyms by now you're in senior level english in year 12 and 13 synonyms are yes words with similar meanings so you will use all of these uh, um, first sentences and you will reword them remember you cannot change the meaning of the sentences one thing also please i will directly write here excuse me you i will directly write avoid examples so you don't have to write examples that was written in the sentences and another one is avoid just try and avoid um adding more than what you were told to do so one avoid examples and avoid stating your opinions so i don't want to know about your opinion on whether you agree or disagree with uh, with the uh, corruption that's a different uh, story altogether you just dwell on the summary itself so avoid stating your opinions and add transitional phrase that helps you with the flow of the idea so you're going to avoid that and you're going to add transitional phrase you might say madam what are tradition transitional phrases okay these are add transitional phrases to add on oops on okay as the author states or uh, you can um you know etc so those are some transitional phrases some of you like to start with to begin with firstly those ones we know they are a flow of ideas eh? you are not like a robot and uh, you are just writing the same thing over and over again so that is what you mean by transitional phrase okay this from that that uh, passage this is your final now once again you can use the same title so schools must champion anti-corruption education now in your answer booklet if you do not have a title this is minus half mark okay we will discuss it further 
um, below. Eh? Okay, so this is your final. So corruption has become a norm in everyday life, and this comes in different ways. Once again, that's the first paragraph. According to research by the World Bank, it showed that about US $1 trillion is paid in bribes across the globe every year. To add on, that is a, yes, transitional phrase. Corruption also makes it hard for societies and economies to flourish, but education could be seen as a valuable weapon in our fight against corruption. Now, according to the passage, that is a transitional phrase, research tells us that corruption can affect the business to thrive and make profit, which therefore solidifies that anti-corruption education belongs in business school to stop this from happening. Full stop. Number of words, 95. Remember, you are to stay within the word limit. Okay, there are more than four points, so you will receive the full mark for the language. Uh, by the way, this is for year 13 marking. This is not year 12. Year 12, it is out of five. So this is specifically for year 12, uh, yeah, sorry, year 13 marking. Yeah? So points will be for language. This language, what this means is your your grammar, your whether there is any spelling error or whether you have um, directly lifted. Okay, directly lifted is plagiarizing. You just take everything from your plan and you put it there. Remember, use synonyms. Try and um, you, you this way we can see your understanding of whether you are uh, have written down. Um, sorry, whether you understand what you have just read. So that is where language come in. And then lastly is your cohesion. So that is all these transitional phrases that we had discussed earlier. Then you will receive the total eight marks. Now, some note or some things that you need to take note of. No summary, which is if you have no summary, maybe uh, you dwell too much on literature or on your uh, section A and B of your paper. You do not have time to do your summary. And you just write the plan. I, the marker, will only give you four marks which is for your plan. So if you do not have this, if you do not have the final, and you just have this, I as the marker will see that you have listed down all the points, I will give you four marks. Remember guys, work smart. Okay, so only plan, you would be awarded maximum of four marks for plan. For direct lifting, or mark for points only. So if you have a lot of uh, plagiarism, everything that is written up in the passage you write again, I will only mark the points. You'll get zero in language and zero in cohesion. Okay, guys? And lastly, and never least, you have no title, half mark deducted. You have more or one, or you have two or more paragraphs, half mark deducted and also if there is no number of words half mark deducted so don't be dwelling on silly mistakes like this and you don't get the job done okay guys so i hope that is um clear for you and uh, you can always this screenshot everything that i have uh, discussed with you and then you can um, write it down or you can always save the videos to help you with uh, your revision later so please Summary writing, don't be daunted by this, don't get scared. You can get as much marks as you can. Keep practicing, guys. Never give up. Always know that I'm here for you to help you. And um, if I can, when I can, I will. And if uh, circumstances do not uh, go in our favor, then you can always ask your English teachers. I'm sure they are, you do not give them enough credit. Okay, guys? So all the best for your revision. And um, thank you once again for everything. And uh, continue to watch these videos to help you with your revision. Vinaka.